Hey guys and girls, this is Diane here from Design Creative and I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial um, how to update your privileges when it comes to using Bricks Builder. So for instance, when you're in the Bricks settings and you click on Builder Access, it gives you these different um, ways in which you can access the content. So for the administrator, they have full access. The editor can edit content, but all the rest of the user roles, they can't do anything. Now, this could be good in some instances, but there are other ways in which you may want to be a bit more granular in terms of who rather than what user role. So who within the user role um, can be able to edit the content or have full access or have no access. So usually if you create a website, you hand it over to your clients, they're usually administrators, or you may give them a completely separate user role. I tend to give them administrator roles, and then I kind of add a plugin that removes or hides some of these extra menus that are not really needed or they don't really need to see. Um, but in terms of like, if I wanted to hand over a website, and I only wanted them to edit the content, it will be difficult if they are, or they, if they have administration privileges. So what you can do, it's very simple, is you just go to the users and you click on that person's username. And when you scroll down, Bricks Builder has given you this great opportunity to actually limit the access per user, not just per user role. You could also give them access to upload SVGs. And if they want to execute code, you can also give them access through there too. 